Well, hey everybody, Steve a thousand years. So I have Leah out this weekend. Hi. Hi. So uh, talking about uh, uh, this week's project is what I want to do is I want to build a bridge and I need you to imagine it. Um, and the purpose of the bridge that I'm building is to test the roofing technique that I'm going to use. So let me go ahead and rotate. You're my little Vanna. My little Vanna is holding my drawing. <laughs> so over here where this hole is, what I need you to do is imagine this bridge being built. So this is the front part of the pond. That's the back part. So the bridge itself will be made of one-fifth scale of what my roof will be built of. And it'll build, be built using the same technique, which is an Archimedes bridge or a Da Vinci's bridge. Um, so it'll be earth bag, of which I've already got the material. That is something that I bought from uh, Lowe's for 50 cents each, ruined concrete. That'll be the foundation, right? That's really good. So underneath here is all of the concrete that I'll need to add oh, to that mud. Okay. And also I have three stuccos. So uh, anyway, what'll, what'll go is this bridge will be built with the same construction. So it, and it'll be, I like that little arch. So we're going to do that little arch. So that'll go there. And what I need to do is make sure that the pond wall doesn't give way and flood it while I'm oh, working. Oh, yes. Uh, we've got an inch of rain coming. There's a lot of things going on. So over the bridge will be my roof construction idea. It's unproven, but you and I saw it at La Presidio mm -hmm. Baha'i. We saw it. What was the name of that other um, one? Our, it started with an R. A. Augusta. Armanda. Oh, it was a remember. mission called Armanda or something like that. And what they did when you walked in and you looked up, you saw cedar with coyote fence with what rubble with mud. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the fence, uh, build the bridge. Mm -hmm. Over it, I'm going to um, just staple with. Uh, sticks boom 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 one fifth mm -hmm. scale and over that will be red lava stone yeah. and then over that will be i'm going to dry pour my concrete now i hear everybody moaning but on a little bridge that's only three foot big that's a pedestrian bridge i'm not concerned at all so i'm going to dry pour because if i could dry pour the roof it'll save me days hours mm -hmm. uh, i can carry bags up i can hire boys to carry bags up yeah. and stage them and then cut the bag and yeah. dump it cut the bag and dump it so anyway i need you to envision this bridge there i need you to envision it made out of sticks and rubble and concrete there and i'm going to try to make it other than the coyote sticks which i'll i'll um you know um nail down mm -hmm. no fasteners mm. so um, the benefit of that is it'll be the least structured bridge for failure analysis right. when I actually do the roof obviously I'm going to drill and do pass through oh, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of, uh, but anyway and then this will be stuccoed with um, red mm -hmm. Texas red stone and I'll put a um, video up of it so people get what that looks like here so let's go look over there at the actual build zone Okay, so here's my pond. You can't quite see, but that is up three feet higher than this side, right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to leave this earth part. The bridge will start right here and run over there. And see the natural taper already, Leah? So the pedestrian bridge will follow this natural taper. So when I build, it means when I scoop the dirt here, I've got to build a dam here. To keep this from flooding over because I have to earth bag it and I'm going to use the same ratio that I'm going to use on the house so this is testing as as this decays I'll know so does the house since I'm trying to build a house thousand year house nothing will be more testing than having it exposed to water and horses and everything so what I'm what I'll do is I'll cut this all out in a day Put, pile up the dirt here in an arc to keep this away. This is how the Romans did it, right? So I'll cut it out in a day. I'll lay that down for foundation, and I'll earth bag it, hopefully, to the height all in one day, which will be a bust-ass day. What if I can't? It'll be a good experience for a one-man builder out here. So then um, the next day I'll build the bridge, which uh, will just follow this natural arch and then later on, as this recedes, I'm going to dig this all out 
and make it as deep as that. And then I'll have a pedestrian bridge here. And uh, let me go ahead and show everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, show me, uh, hold up the paper. So I'll have this pedestrian bridge here with my roofing material as a test and my stucco material. And I get a bonus because it'll let me test how the earth bag is the hyper adobe i asked for the quote on it and i'm ordering uh, the hyper adobe mesh this week so um and it looks like i could do the whole house for twelve hundred dollars for the hyper adobe bag so super uh, yeah, cool way no no that's so i'm hoping that this earth and all that but i get so much testing done yeah. out of this that this needs to be a priority and i'd like it to be a month or two ahead of what the rest of the house is mm. so i I can see how it ages. So anyway. All right, I asked you to use your imagination on that one. I hope that the little drawing helped. I hope seeing this helped. Uh, the <laughs> purpose of this little pedestrian bridge, people are like, Steve, you should be building your, uh, look at the guy behind me spying. I know, he's like, what are you <laughs> he's doing? He's spying, what are you doing? Uh, the purpose of this uh, bridge, when I should be building my house, is to prove that I could build with this methodology because other than seeing it in antiquity, you don't see anything like mm -hmm. this now, no. right? So people aren't building this way. What's the reason? Maybe it's mm -hmm. just super labor intensive, yeah. but it's that, that was 300 years old in stone missions that have had cannons on top. <laughs> so I know that that technique is a darn good technique. And so the cedar is 300 years old or more. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I, I'm already, I'll be long dead before this will break down, but I'm trying to build a thousand year house. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll get this video up. And then uh, during this next week, I'll physically start doing this work, uh, talking about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll build model scales and we'll test it. Now, scaling it up from one-fifth, a little teeny tiny stick-built non Two logs above my head that weigh 300 pounds. It's a whole uh, different animal. So I'm going to have to engineer some mm -hmm. security, some scaffolding. Um, I'm just going to have to think yeah. how to do this. In addition, I might have barn raising days and have mm -hmm. other people come out instead of me just being all alone. Yeah. So anyway... Um, this is Steve a thousand year home so uh, like subscribe follow me along and uh, appreciate that's Blaze and Hank if you're just visiting here and my old Hank's 32 years old so uh, they're they're my my normal buddies and then Leah comes out and is my safety officer when I'm doing crazy stuff so I appreciate her time as well all right like and subscribe bye